Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this section I'm going to show you how to make a simple game. And um, the only problem here is that I'm running this on a screencast and the screencast doesn't quite keep up with my phone. But hopefully you get the general idea. It's a sort of um, tennis game and I've got some sound effects in there and you have to attempt to um, hit a ball with the paddle on the left which I'm actually controlling with my finger on my phone and the paddle on the right is controlled by the program although um, with everything running together um, and with my phone plugged in and the screencast running it slows down to the point where it's practically unusable but under normal circumstances it's a perfectly fine game. So we're going to have a look at how to make this and we'll look at the basics and fundamentals of animation and drawing in Android and also sound. And I thought about using a game library because if you want to program games on Android you can use for example libgdx which is a pretty simple game library and there's also and I think it's called and engine and there's a bunch of others as well but those two are free um, libgdx is is actually relatively primitive but it's also pretty easy to use and and engine at the moment I find is quite hard to install but people say it's worth it if you're going to get into any serious game development and I thought about trying to make a tutorial on those um, although I haven't used them myself except um, for some simple experiments but in the end I decided that it's going to be more instructive if we look at actual how you do actual animation in Android without actually using any kind of external library which of course is also probably going to change very rapidly so we're going to look at the um, built-in facility, facility in Android itself for doing frame by frame animation. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial and until next time, happy coding.